glorifies God. <clears throat> Jesus glorifies God. And uh, if you want to jot down this, this scripture here, which is the uh, uh, devotional reading, one, the 100, 100 Psalms, and uh, 113 through 128. <clears throat> the 119th, what did I say? 119. Psalm 119. 113 through 128. <clears throat> okay, now our lesson today is uh, I'm not going to go into all the background, all the uh, all the uh, other stuff that deal with it. You know, I'm just going to deal with the, with the basic part of the lesson uh, for our consumption <clears throat> for today. But one thing I do want to read the lesson so that we're going to understand uh, what the lesson is all about. So if someone wants to share the reading, you may read verse 14 through verse uh, 18. Well, since you're not going to read, <laughs> this is what it said. This is this is the King James Version. Now about the midst about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, And how knewest this man the letters had never read, have never learned it? All right, all right. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, all right, but his that sent me. Amen. Verse 17, if if any man will do his will, he shall know the doctrines, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Amen. In the 18th verse, he that speaketh of himself uh, sees himself, yeah. sees see his own glory. Yeah. But he that sees see his, his glory that is in him, the same is true. And no unrighteousness is in him. Mm -hmm. The 19th verse, did not Moses give you uh, the law and yet None of you kept the law. Mm. Why go ye about to kill me? Mm. Uh, Twenty verse. The people answered and said, Thou has thou has a devil who give, who goes about to kill thee. Mm. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done no I have I have done one work, and ye are marvel. Moses therefore Here's unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, right. but it is of the Father. Yeah. And ye, on the Sabbath day, circumcised a man. If a man on the Sabbath day is received circumcision, uh, that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are you angry at me because I have made a man? I made mean, a man every whit whole in the Sabbath day. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge right, but judge righteous judgment. Yeah. Okay, now a lesson is dealing today with uh, uh, controversy, being dealing with controversy between the uh, the Pharisees and the and the scribes and, and those people that uh, uh, who are in charge of uh, Mosaic law, these are these are the part of the Sanhedrin Council, and they are the one who determine what's to be taught All right. and how it is to be taught. Amen. And if you don't teach our doctrines, uh, we got a problem. Amen. And so, so it's the same. It's the same uh, in the world today. If you don't teach my doctrine, hmm. if you don't if heed my doctrine, mm -hmm. then uh, you're not uh, uh, you're not right. All right. Uh, uh, your religion is not right. Mm -hmm. And so we have uh, uh, it's sad to say, but we have all these different religions. But how many Christian religions do we have? Mm -hmm. that, that's the thing. That's the thing that we have to look at today. You have a lot of you have a lot of religion, and religion is just simply a uh, commitment to something. Mm -hmm. 
And you hear folks say, well, they, 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 they are religiously. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's, it's religiously. That means that they are committed and they are faithful to their call. It has nothing to do with Christianity. Mm -hmm. but, but when you put, when you put they, are, they are faithful, they are religious, uh, they go to church, they take care of the poor, they do all the things in accordance to the, 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 the biblical scriptures, and they follow the leadership and obey the leaders of the, of the, of the, of the, the church who has given them authority over them. Then you'll find that they are Christian religion. Christian religion, because first of all, they start following Christ. So anyone who follows Christ, they are Christian religion. Now, I want to, I want to, I want to share something with you. Do you know where the word uh, Christian came from? Huh? I said, do you know? Oh. Well, for, what, what did you say? Christ. Christ? Yeah. No, it didn't come from Christ. Anybody else? I saw a hand fly and went down. Did they call them Christians and added out? They wanted to, it was, wasn't it designed to be a mockery? Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it was a. Uh, I believe it, don't quote me now on this, but it was, I believe it was, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, one of the, uh, one of the leaders of, the, they had, the country was broken down into jurisdictions. So you had a king over here, you had a king over here, that's why they call Pilot King, and why they call uh, Harriet King, you know, King Harry. And that, so it, it was. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. It was during a time uh, when it was going into Corinth, going into Antioch, and going to those places. Mm -hmm. And it said, "Paul, you have got beside yourself, mm -hmm. you Christians." Mm -hmm. And what it was, it was. It was. It was designed to to insult mm -hmm. the people who are following Christ. All right. Yeah. That's what it was designed for, and so since they, uh, they since they said, okay, you want to you want you you want to insult us and you want to try to embarrass us, so we'll take on that name. A Christian as a follower of Christ, we'll take on that name. And so that's how that name come about in the church. Okay, and that's why I said I said. Those who are religion, those who uh, who are following Christ, they can be called Christians mm -hmm. because they are Christian is simply a follower of Christ. Okay. Now, in our lesson today, it says now about the mid, about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. Now, what happened here is when you look at the first part of this chapter. There was a feast called the Feast of the Tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and every year they would go to the tab go to the tabernacle to have a feast. They had several feasts of uh, several feasts a year. They had the feast of the Passover. They had the feast of the harvest. They had the feast of the beginning of the harvest, and so they had the feast of the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so all these feasts. Feasts would go. They would go up to the tabernacle to celebrate. Okay, and that's how we got started having a church feast at the church. Sit down, everybody sit down and just eat and talk about Mississippi, talk about Texas, talk about Arkansas, talk about whatever you want to talk about, as long as it was moral and righteousness and uh, and good. You see. It, it, bring, it, brings, it brings stability to the, to the congregation. It also brings fellowship and friendship to the church when, you can, when people can sit down and talk. And so, Jesus, Jesus was going to the temple. But, but, but before Jesus went to the temple, Jesus told his disciples, I'm going I'm, I'm to hang around here a little bit. I believe it was in Nazareth. I'm gonna hang around here a little bit, a Galilee a minute. I'm gonna hang around here a little bit, and I'll meet y'all later at the temple. Okay, and so now, uh, 
Now, Jesus has come and joined them at the temple. Okay? And, and then it says uh, in that first verse, and now about the midst of the feast, which was about the time the feast was half over, he comes in. Now, you gotta remember, he couldn't go into what is called the inner part of the temple. Mm -hmm. But that was reserved for uh, those so-called holy folks. Mm -hmm. Holy than I, holy than thou. Mm -hmm. uh, who were Jews, who were thou heart born Jews. Only those peoples who were uh, non-Jews uh, are Jews and was not considered clean or not considered a part of the, what is called the thou heart Jews had to go in another place, in, another place in the temple that was uh, that was a set aside for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. And so now, and, uh, and, and so but now the Sanhedrin council and those people who were leaders of the of the Jews Jew community could go anywhere mm -hmm. in the church. You see, and so now now we find we, we find that this is the case now. Uh, and, and, and the Jew and Jesus went in and started teaching. Mm -hmm. It caught them by surprise. You see, one of the things, you can't underestimate a person. Right. You can't look at a person and determine what they are, who they are, how much they know, how much they don't know. Okay. Are you with me? And, and so, so you, you have to look, you have to, you have to look at, 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 at the reality of what God, of what God has put into a person. And so, let's look a little further. He said, and the Jews marveled, they were they was shocked. How can this man know all this stuff? All right. mm -hmm. And we never heard it before. Now, how, how in the world he come to know more than we know? Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Yeah. How, can, how in the world can you, can you, can he know more than we know? And we've been here and been to the school of theology. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how in the world was he getting it from? Let's look a little further. Uh, Mark was saying, How knowest this man letters? Okay. <laughs> he went, in other words, you know where he, when, when he used the word letter? He wouldn't let no I uh, be undone and no T uncrossed. And that's why he used the word letter. Okay, so he knew how to spit every verb. He knew how to, he knew how to hit every noun. He knew how to hit everything in the English and literature of education. He knew how to do it because he was God. He's on the science. He's on the presence. He's omnipotence. Know all things. Are y'all following me? Y'all got your Bible open yet? Keep them Bible open now. <laughs> the Jesus answered and said, My doctrine is not mine. Brethren, what I got, I didn't learn it of myself. I don't have the know-how right. to know it myself, yeah. but it comes from God. Yeah. And we all let God use us sometimes. All right. Right. Yeah. I tell you, if we just let God use you a little bit, yeah. boy, you can do some magnificent miracles. You never thought that you was able to perform with God. Yeah. You can do some wonders. Yeah. Okay, now listen what it says. He says, it is not mine. But his that sent me. All right, all right. Now that's what that's what that's what threw them off. That's 
what really threw them off. But he is who sent me. Now, who sent you? <laughs> who sent you? Yeah. How many minutes have I been up here? Huh? I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go uh, we're gonna we're gonna go three more minutes. And we're gonna let you we're gonna let you let you have about eight minutes to take a break. Okay. Is that alright? Yeah. Huh? I'll count you down, Pastor. Okay. Right. Anybody got any questions on lessons so far? Yes. I don't have a question, I just like to make a comment. You know, Pastor Kate, I used to one all the time way back in Mississippi. All these old, old pastors that would say, I can't read, I didn't go to school. But they could get up in that pulpit and they knew the word of God and they could preach it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't coming from a school or bank. Mm -hmm. It was coming from God. Yeah, that's, that, was a, that was a lot. Mississippi, Louisiana, yeah. Texas, Arkansas. All those, back, back, a lot of those days, they, a lot of those uh, preachers didn't get no education because they had to work in the field. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had to, to take care of the family. And we had one, we had one come to our church, same thing. He couldn't read a lick. But you read them scripture to him, he'll tear you up. <laughs> when I said tear you up, he had the whole house shake. <laughs> and how that fellow could read that scripture and get that discerning from God, I just couldn't figure it out to save my life. And then finally, when I uh, I started preaching, it was years into 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 my preaching. I had to write everything down. And I'd be at work, and I got a notebook at work. Something come up, I write it down. Are y'all with me? But as I got older, and God began to give me more experience and began to trust me with His Word, He began to open up my understanding a lot more. Yeah. You see, God's not gonna God's not gonna open up your understanding and you don't know how to deal with it. You're gonna have to know how to put God's word. That's where it said, rightly dividing what? Study the word. Study the dividing the word of truth. You're gonna have to study to learn how to divide the word of truth, which means you're gonna have to study God's word and find out what God meaning is. Who are you talking to? Why are you talking to them? Yeah. What have they done? Mm, yeah. Okay, go on a Okay, now, let's take a look at that, at that 17th verse. If any man will do his will, notice that part first. If any man will man, when he say man, that means man and woman. Will do his will. Listen to this. Will do his will. He shall know the doctrines. Mm -hmm. He shall know the doctrine. In other words, if you do God's will, God's going to reveal unto you the secrets of his word. He will not let you go ignorant if you read. Now you, now you have to also have have enough smart to ask somebody to help you. Yeah. But when you but when you read when you read the Corinthians, what Paul said, uh, God will give you the interpretation. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, talk about tongues and things like this. But uh, if you if you pray to God, God will give you the interpretation of your tongues or others than talking in tongues. All right, all right. And by the way, Talking in tongues is only talking to God. It has nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us at all. All right? Now, I don't want to go into tongues all the time. Now, but I want to deal with this. And so, whether it, this is what I said, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Now, what he's saying here is, you have seen me. What I've done. And everything I've done has been for the betterment and the fulfillment and the helping of mankind. Mm -hmm. I have did nothing against the 
against, against your church. I have did nothing against the people. I have not lied. I have not tricked them. Everything that I have said and done has been from the Father, and it has proved itself. All right, now, all right. Mm -hmm. What I speak. Yes. And one thing I want, I want to say, and I'm closing, yes. is that be careful when you speak. Because your words cannot be retracted. I don't care how much you say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can say, I'm sorry, till the sun goes down. You still said it. And people is going to have a, 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 a judgment of you. A decision of you, they're going to have a, a, a feeling about you that they're not going to be able to deal with you and trust you and talk with you the same way. I don't care if you live to get 199 and they live to get 200. That's going to always be in the minds of folks. Now, will they forgive you? Yeah, they'll probably forgive you. And just like Paul said, yeah, I forgive you, but you go your way and I go mine. <laughs> All right, so we won't have to deal with that anymore. And by the way, Paul told, Paul told, uh, I think it was South, bring John Mark uh, by the prison. I want to talk to him. We've had some problems over the years, and I need to get some things straight with him because I'm getting ready to go to the Father. All right. All right. Jesus. And he brought him there, brought him there, and he got things straight. Paul went on to Nero's chopping block. Mm -hmm. And John Mark went on, continued preaching and teaching. All right. <clears throat> Any questions so far, real quick? Yes. I, I just, you know, verse 17, just to, uh, you know, just to, to begin with that, just. It ministers to me if any man do my will. Uh -huh. And you know how the Jews are. They're real, you know, particular about, you know, their people. But that's anybody. That's if any man do my will. That's comforting to know because sometimes we put limits on ourselves. We, we think God can't use us because of what we've been through. But if any man do his will, that's an open invitation. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, and, and it's encouraging to know that God will use anybody who's willing to do his will. He has no respect for person. He, he'll use anybody who's willing to do his will. And the Jews had a thinking that, that you know, they, they're the closest to God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, but uh, the Jews wasn't, the Jews wasn't thinking about uh, the God that, he, that Jesus is talking about. They were thinking about a uh, uh, a God that they uh, come under Mosaic law. Mm -hmm. See, anything that wasn't deep, anything that wasn't that wasn't wasn't dealing with the Mosaic law, for the Jews concerned, it was fake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you come come you, and, and, and talking in school, that's what they're talking in school. 